I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm very, very tired. Um, you've seen my video where I moved into Cambridge, which is probably the last video before this video. I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning, then we drove, it's about a three hour drive from where I live. Drove, got here, got unpacked on like what was the probably hottest day of the year. I was just so tired and then we did loads of exploring of Cambridge, did a lot of walking and then I got back. And you know when you get past the point of being tired that you then can't sleep? So I literally couldn't sleep until like 11 and then I woke up today at about 9 just because I was just so, so tired. <laughs> like I literally had like three hours sleep the night before because I couldn't sleep then either because I was so excited to come to Cambridge. So I am very tired. Excuse the bags under my eyes. I've kind of decided that now I'm in Cambridge I want to film as many videos as, as possible just to kind of show you what I'm getting up to and just also document it for, for myself so I can see and look back and think oh gosh I remember that day. I just think YouTube is actually a really nice way of being able to capture days and being able to remember certain days and and I thought, well, Cambridge is only, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, it's a once in a lifetime experience, so I'm gonna make the most of it and film <laughs> as much as I can of it. Just to show to my followers, you know, those that subscribe to me, which I really appreciate. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please do so and hit the bell button because I'm going to be releasing so many more videos on this channel. But for those of you that do follow me, you know, I wanted to just show you what I'm, what I'm getting up to. So today is, unpacking everything putting it all in the right places and what i'm probably going to do is just show you what i'm doing and talking to you while i'm doing that um, i will be doing a separate room tour video as well just explaining everything <laughs> kind of an in-depth room tour so as i said subscribe so you don't miss on that video but for now i am going to eat my breakfast and then i guess we'll start unpacking everything because i packed a lot of stuff so yeah this is gonna be fun <laughs> also this is something that i absolutely love about my room is opening the curtains and having that as my view they were playing the uh, church bells this morning which was so pretty a quick tour before we unpack so that there is the chapel and there was a wedding on there yesterday and it was so loud it was so funny and then this is kind of like the view from a little kitchenette and it's just so beautiful the sun also sets just like over there and it's definitely a, a lovely view to to go to sleep to. Yeah, so I bought brought one of these to kind of hook over a door if I had a door. But I can't because I don't have a door. Like this door here has a mechanism on the top so I can't fit it there. Um, and the door over there is a sliding door so it just fall off. So now I don't know. Oh. So I don't know what to do with that. So that's going to top of my wardrobe for now. This is what I have currently in my wardrobe. Yeah, it's all a mess. I haven't literally done anything with it. So I'm gonna time lapse while I try and get it all sorted and then I'll show you the finished product. Ooh. Okay, so I realized in that time lapse literally nothing in the here. Uh, in the wardrobe moved and that's because I was just packing everything into the drawers next to it and I'm, you know when you kind of just want to have like some organization with everything in your clothes and stuff and I'm just like I don't know what's best to do because I have loads of hangers uh, and stuff like that and it's like I don't know what to hang up and what not to hang up and yeah so I need to figure that out. So I may be absolutely boiling and my hair's an absolute mess. I also burnt my face yesterday, which is why I look so red. Um, but I'm quite happy. So I have basically, despite all of the rest of the mess that is currently on the floor uh, and up there, I have pretty much organised my wardrobe, which I'm quite happy about. And I also had more space than what I expected. So I've kind of just put my dresses and kind of smart jackets in there i'll probably take the smart jackets out and just have them there instead of in in these kind of thingy protectors and i've got all my jeans there i've got 
my favourite jacket, my little kind of fluffy jumper that I pretty much wear all the time, and then three of the same jackets but all in different colours and I didn't realise I packed them. So now I've got three of the same jackets, but hey-ho. And then up there is kind of all of my winter stuff. So mainly my kind of, if you see it goes all the way to the back as well, my jumpers, just because jumpers seem to take up so much space kind of on here. So I thought I'll just fold them up. And jumpers don't seem to crease as much as clothes do, as much as t-shirts do. And then these are kind of all the t-shirts and things that I have. And then I've got this little box here, which kind of has shorts and clothes that I don't really wear a lot so there's like interview clothes in there just in case i have any interviews this year um and then as we go down i have my spare change of bed sheets at the back of there i've got my spare two towels and then kind of the main shoes that i wear and then and then in here we've organized things so this is kind of underwear and socks uh what was that that was pjs i call them night clothes i don't judge me um and then in here this is kind of all of the stuff for climbing and tights so kind of tights along there i don't know why i put them in with here but i did just because spare space so tights in there then i've got uh, one of my hoodies like waterproof hoodies all my climbing kind of gear climbing shoes there i just figured i'd put all my hoodies and stuff in there because i mainly wear hoodies when i go climbing like walking to climbing and then in here i think i'm going to put maybe some toiletries and things just like getting ready things um and i've still kind of got a lot of mess but it is uh 11:43. um so i'd say oh a load of birds just flew by i'd say i'm quite happy with what i've managed to get done um i've kind of got all the kitchen stuff sorted more or less now it's just everything else so wow i look such a mess um so it's all of this stuff here now all of my study stuff uh and then in the bathroom there's toiletries and things that i need to get sorted and kind of all the rest of the stuff that's on the floor here and also i was really happy because my suitcase fits really nicely in the back yeah so the suitcase fits really nicely in the back and i put kind of leftover hangers that i haven't used in there and then this little box is just one big coat and my dressing gown lovely so now i'll do a time lapse of me sorting out all of this stuff I don't have my tripod and I've balanced on some boxes and I thought this was going to fall over. Oh well. So I kind of forgot that I had packed my entire Raspberry Pi and my monitor and everything. For some reason, like I, I, I don't know why I forgot that. So now I need to organise these drawers and then also get all that set up. So that's going to take even longer. But hopefully... Helicopter. It's the first helicopter I've seen. <laughs> Um, yeah, hopefully it won't take me too long, or at least I hope so anyway. Cue some time lapsing. <sighs> I'm stopping for some lunch because I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. I didn't think moving would would make you that quite that tired um i've got a sandwich that my mum made yesterday so i'm eating that for my lunch and i am trying to set up my water filter because before i moved here if you watch my kind of preparing for cambridge well i need to oh it does go down wow that's quite cool if you watch my preparing for cambridge video um i spoke about someone called alistair who has been literally a godsend <laughs> literally like he's helped me with so much stuff and he said to me the water here is really really hard um and i'm used to quite hard water in in york anyway it was very different because i'd go from leeds i think which is a lot not as hard and it'd ruin my hair and didn't like taste as nice so yeah i've got a water filter i'm trying to get that set up and then once that's set up i can finally have a coffee because i tried to make a cup of tea this morning and it tasted a bit strange i don't know if it's the kettle or what it is but i'm in desperate need of coffee so that's my plan now is to eat i haven't really got that far with trying to organize my drawers with the uh all these books which are balanced on at the, at the moment i kind of i've left quite a few boxes like you know my parents let me keep a few boxes that they're that like this um this one is broken sadly but i thought they're quite a good idea to just put the storage in just you know i brought so many cue cards I'm not sure why I brought so many cue cards, but I did, so I can keep, you know, the majority of them in there because I'm not going to use them all the time. And then just other bits and bobs, you know, spare pencils, spare pens, all that kind of stuff. And then have... 
very specific stuff in these drawers. I swear I put like bare minimum effort into present making myself look presentable for these YouTube videos because I feel like I just try and make it as realistic as possible because nobody well some people do put makeup on every day but I'm somebody that's trying to avoid putting makeup on because I'm getting coming out in spots so what I was gonna say is I spent like an hour doing nothing <laughs> um I'm just so tired today and I just like you know I have to be careful when I do get tired not to overdo it so right now I'm currently sorting out a new pencil case and it just makes me really happy I don't know I thought it is about stationary but I just love it um so I got myself a new little kind of see-through case and uh, this is my old one here which has got lots of old pens and yeah it's a bit it's a bit gross so new term new uni new pencil case so i'm just kind of figuring out what to put in there and what not to i'm very fortunate that i have a lot of space in in my room as i said i will explain when i do another video of my full room tour um not just random bits here and there i'll explain at the end of that video why why that is the case and why i've been put in this accommodation so yeah i'm just trying to figure out what i will actually need to take to uni okay right so i'm just doing that uh, and then I will hopefully have got my drawers and everything sorted and then that's stationary and everything done and then all that's left to do is kind of bathroom sorting out everything else that I've got there yeah and uh, maybe something to do with the kitchen as well I'm now going to try and have a coffee I've sorted out my water filter so let's have a coffee <laughs> to get my monitor and my Raspberry Pi working with my keyboard. The only issue with the Raspberry Pi is I can't join the network that I join on my other laptop so if you're at university you'll have heard of, I can never say it, Edarome and I can't join it on my Raspberry Pi, I'm not too sure why but my kind of plan is to have my monitor, I've got it all set up and, and ready, my Raspberry Pi is there. For those of you that don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's this little mini computer here. Um, if you've been on my tech channel, for those of you that don't know, I have my own little tech channel where I teach people how to code. This has featured on it and it's, yeah, really cool and pretty. And basically it just is like a mini computer. So it's, that's all you need. <laughs> like that, it's a computer and you can get internet and literally code and do loads of stuff on it. So that's why I thought I'd set it up because it's quite cute and, I don't know, doesn't take quite up as much space as a big laptop but if things can't you know if things don't work as well with it that's fine i'll just kind of put it in my little box down there uh, and i'll connect to my laptop for example just have it you know two different screens but i'm just happy because i've got it all sorted and it's it's quite nice my desk is honestly huge like i can't actually reach over there i mean i can but like i wouldn't be doing any work over there if that makes sense um so i'm happy that i've got i've got this section of my desk to sit under here do the work you know all that and then here I can do my typing so yeah I'm really happy uh, but now I think I'm going to probably go start out the bathroom and kind of stuff to do with you know toiletries makeup all that get my skincare ready So I'll give you a little bit of kind of, not a tour, but basically what I've managed to done, managed to do. So I managed to sort out my entire desk. What I've decided to do is instead of telling you everything now, I'm going to do a whole dedicated video to just 
showing you my entire room and explaining literally everything. So I've managed to do my entire desk, I've got my folders and everything there. Um, I also then managed to get my little tapestry up, which I'm really happy with. What's going on here right now is that I am doing my little motivational cork board, which is going to go up there. Um, just so like when I leave, I'll have some kind of inspiration and motivation and just family pictures. Uh, nothing on there. I'm going to put some picture frames on there and then everything in my bathroom is kind of all sorted. So I'm happy because I've got this here, which is like all my skincare and everything, uh, sink. And then just like a few random bits there, shower um, things there, which is all good. But for now, what I'm going to do, I just realised that's a bit wonky, isn't it? Oh well, I'll try and fix that. <laughs> um, what I'm doing now is I'm going to do some more kind of inspirational quotes to put on here. I'm going to watch the newest season of Sex Education while I do so. And yeah, do some of that. I'm also making a shopping list of stuff I'm going to get when I go get my gown, which is really exciting. I realise I'm not even talking to the camera when I'm doing that. So that has been the video today. I appreciate I haven't really given you a full room tour yet, but I'm gonna dedicate that to a completely different video and just be like, yeah, this is exactly what this is. This is why I've included this, just really in depth. Um, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. I'm also wanting to get some extra bits to make it feel a bit more homely. And that's why I don't wanna film it today because then you wouldn't see those extra bits that I'm adding. I also need to start my kitchen as well because I want to get some coffee containers and not just have coffee and stuff on the side. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna get all that sorted and then I'll do a separate video explaining everything. But for now, I'm gonna watch some sex education whilst pinning on my pin board. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, I brought a pin board and then I didn't bring any pins. So I need to get pins as well, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but for now, I'm just gonna make my own kind of inspirational little quotes on there and stuff um just to keep me motivated so that is the plan now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like subscribe and comment and don't forget to check out my tech channel if you're interested in learning how to code but for now i'll see you all in the next video